Hey guys, John Willis, Special Operations Equipment. Colin Walls works here as well. Uh, Colin does a lot of our diet stuff, personal training. He was a pro bodybuilder, dietitian, nutritionist, blah, blah, blah. A lot of you guys ask all the time, we get asked, what supplements should I take? What do I use? What do you guys take? Um, we're going to show you what we take pretty much on a daily basis. I'm not telling you to take this. I don't sell this shit. I'm just telling you what has worked for me and what I'm happy with and kind of what, what Colin has you know, molded us into, kind of what our, our diet stuff has evolved into in addition to food. When I hired Colin, I was taking all kinds of pre-workout. I was taking all kinds of stuff to go to sleep, all kinds of shit to get up in the morning, all kinds of stuff to, to boost me up. Then I come home from the gym and I eat a little bit of food and I take some more shit to stay awake when I got tired. When I hired Colin, one of the things that stick, sticks in my mind mostly, I said, what kind of protein do you use? He said, I use food. I'm like, well, fuck, I've got thousands of dollars worth of protein. He's like, yeah, we're not going to use that shit. We're going to use food. Um, we do use a protein powder. A friend of ours makes it. I use it pretty much because, number one, it tastes good. I don't mind taking it, but I trust the guy it comes from. I believe 100% that what this says is in the package is actually what's in the package. This shit's not coming from some little fucking cobra farm in Thailand. The ingredients to this shit wasn't sitting on a table in fucking India. I believe wholeheartedly what's in this product, and that's why I use this product. That's the protein powder. This one happens to be called Perfect Vanilla. Really, it should have been called Vanilla Vagina. That's what they were going to go with, and they... He, you know, the, the deal is he's just politically correct. If SOE put this out, it would be called Vanilla Vagina. They've got a chocolate one, tastes good. This is, uh, you know, the Champ. We did a video on this. This is the protein. We might sell this in the future. I don't know. Um, not in any certain order. For, for an energy bar um, or just, you know, a, a meal, you know, in between meals, I don't really call it meal replacement because I try to eat every couple of hours, especially with Colin here. He's good about that. He brings me food. Every two hours, hey, have you eaten? Hey, do you need to eat? What do you, you know, whether it's bringing me meat and some carbs on a plate or, or just a bar in between with a protein powder. Um, when I first met him, I said, man, I just got this energy bar at the truck stop. I bought a couple of them. It's got dried cherries in it, little chunks of chocolate. It tastes really good. I'm sure it's fucking terrible for me, and you're going to tell me not to eat it. And he looked at it and said, actually, dude, the, the carb ratio to the protein ratio is pretty good in this. So I've been eating these Nature Valley energy bars. Uh, the Chewy Crunchy Granola Bar, 10 grams of protein, dark cherry chocolate with almonds. They've got a cranberry almond one as well. I get these off Amazon. It's the best price I've found. I don't, I don't see them any place local at a grocery store or anything. These come from Amazon. Um, I take T-Bomb. I, I haven't really been taking it. It's a testosterone booster. It's one of the ones on the market that seems to work. I've been totally off of this shit for you know a couple of years. I've, I've run all kinds of supplements and stuff. Um, when I come back on on a regular basis, the T-bomb seems to work. It's something I probably will use again. Um, when I'm getting tired, when we come back from the gym, after we get back from the gym and after we eat, at about 2 o'clock, I kind of start to bonk and I taper down. Um, I use this Redline product, Redline Extreme, the watermelon. Again, I get this off of um, Amazon on Prime. We have them shipped to us. And... Uh, it, it hits hard like you take half of this and most times most days I don't even have to take half of it I take a quarter of it open it up the rest of it goes in the refrigerator and it man it's like for if you can remember the first time you ever had coffee or, or a caffeine supplement that hit that shit hits me and like my beta receptors are blocked as can be to, to caffeine and different products and stuff like that um, but this one seems to work and, and I have since you know cut my coffee intake and and any other caffeine products considerably down so that might be a piece of this working well um, for a pre-workout well let's let's go to the creatine first so at 7:30, 8 o'clock in the morning I take my first breakfast which is carbs it's oatmeal and a part of an apple or weight control oatmeal and then uh, at 9 o'clock I cook our, our second breakfast eggs and you know protein you guys have seen the videos on that at 10 o'clock I load the concrete creatine and Colin will tell you why we use this. I've used all kinds of different creatine, and I've never, I've never taken creatine and literally felt it go into my body. Like, you, you know it, it hit. I've never had that feeling before, and I've used all kinds of creatines. We'll go over this particular one in a minute. But at 10 o'clock, I take a load of this, 
And then when we leave at 1030 at the gym, on the way to the gym, I take my pre-workout and I use this super drive pre-training energy super fuel. Again, Amazon and Amazon. That's where I get these. You guys can buy these at GNC. Literally almost anything you can get at GNC or a health food store, you can get online at Amazon or one of the other online bodybuilding stores considerably less, literally about half price. And then with with the meal, um, either either breakfast or lunch, I'll take my uh, Champ Pack. Again, it's from, from Swinney's company. And uh, I just happen to use this. I've used all kinds of multivitamin packs. I use this one just for the sole reason that I don't have to worry about what's in it. If Justin tells me that's what's in there, I wholeheartedly have, I, I trust what he says. I know I can take this and literally get for real what's on the label. And that's why we use that one. Now, um, a lot of you guys, you've used, you've used all kinds of different workout powders. The, uh, what's, what's the one they just banned? We were using the shit out Jack of. 3D. Jack 3D. hits you. Like, you totally feel it. They said some federal agents were testing positive for meth. That's probably why the shit worked so well. There was some, some cursor or some, you know, some element in there that is used in meth. You know, it just, it hit hard. Um, I use this one. I use very little of it anymore. A lot of days I'll use one scoop. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm using two. It just depends how I'm feeling prior to the gym. But as far as the, uh, the concrete, that's what I'd, I'd really like Colin to go over, why we use this particular concrete, the math behind it, science. Cool. Um, on concrete, basically, uh, Creatine is one of those things that's been around for a long time. Creatine is one of the longest studied um, workout, sports, nutrition type of a supplement. The problem was, back when it first came out, you had to take tons of it. Uh, back whenever I first took creatine, I think I was taking like cell mass or something like that. But the thing was, is it was like 10, 15 grams per serving. That's a lot of creatine. But the reason they had you take it is because you weren't able to get it in. It didn't absorb into your body and it wasn't bioavailable. And so they would... That's why they had loading phases and all this stuff, and like, oh, it was going to hold the water weight, but it just did the bad stuff to you because it just wasn't getting in there, so it was causing other problems. Um, Concrete came along, along with a couple other companies, and started making more pure, more bioavailable forms. This is creatine hydrochloride. If you look at the serving, it's 750 milligrams. Compared to the 10 or 15 grams it used to be, it, it's considerably less, and they say it's concentrated, but it's just the ability for your body. It actually takes it in. You actually get the benefit of it. That's why I use it. And really, if you look at our supplements, like my my whole thing, uh, after doing, uh, I got to be a national level bodybuilder and doing all that. Like I really became a minimalist after that, just because I was uh, so tired of taking tons of stuff. So minimal effective dose became my thing. And like I don't like taking tons of things. When I first came here, John listed. All types of stuff he was trying and doing, and I was like, man, you got you got to stop. Like you're gonna you can kill yourself, and uh, that's what like literally. If you took all these away, I'd still have these. You need everyone needs a multivitamin. Everyone needs protein in their body during the day, and then creatine is just like if you're working out and you're active and you you're wanting to make gains, you're wanting to make physical progress and uh, whatnot. It's it's in there. People are like oh creatine's it's bad for you. Every time you eat red meat, you get creatine. It's, it's not a harmful thing if done correctly. Anything, water can be harmful if you overdose it. It's, it's, it just, if you use your brain, you follow directions, you'll be fine. Um, Pre-workouts, we use Super Drive. I use all kinds. I'm really not picky about it. Um, but aside from that, and then the fact that like I use red lines too, and like John, I use a quarter at a time. I don't use the recommended amount because I don't need it. Um, but our supplements are very, very mild. We don't use a whole bunch of stuff. But if you're eating correctly, you know, we're getting in five, sometimes six meals a day consistently. And that's, and that's during the day a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, that's consistently. Like, if you're getting proper nutrition in your life, like, you're not going to need all the things. One of the biggest things I learned as being a bodybuilder was I was a target market group. Back when I was doing shows, before a show, you could, and, and most bodybuilders can vouch for that, you could have told me if I drank gasoline, I was going to do better in the show, and I probably would have done it just because you get so locked into I need this and I need that and um, I'm glad I got away from it you know I, I rep the non beneficial benefits of all the stuff I was doing um, you know for years after and it's really within the past year I've gotten back to being healthy and athletic but uh, I'll know I'll never go back to it so I mean you don't have to pack your body full of stuff you just have to pack your body full of the right things and most of it you don't have to buy off a shelf um, if you're getting targeted by a market like that, think about it. They're, they're, if they're making money off you, they're happy. Um, but this is what we use. It's very minimal. Um, you could use it too, and I mean, it, it'll, it'll work for you. Just one thing that stands out with the creatine, and, and again, I have no vested interest in this company. I don't care whether you buy it or not.
But with creatine, and I've used fucking 20, 30 different brands of creatine over the years, and what I noticed, the scoops were big. They told you to take it with warm water. You had to use, like, grape juice, or then you take it for two days on, two days off. There was always some fucking voodoo to it. Or you had to drink it with uh, um, grapefruit juice was the other one early on. And the scoops were fucking giant, and you always saw the powder. The scoops in this shit are tiny. It fucking tastes good, and it dissolves. Like, you don't even know this, other than the red coloring to it, when it dissolves, you don't see any crystals or anything. In the early 90s, when, when I first was introduced to creatine, we were doing a ton of shit with the SEAL teams, and I saw a fucking, I was around team guys all the time. And they had fucking half a platoon at a time falling out with kidney stones. And it was, they attributed it back to overusing and poor qualities of creatine. There was always fucking dudes that were, they'd, they'd just take that shit, they'd load it up, they'd get dehydrated, they'd get kidney stones. I mean, fucking constantly. Dudes from, from fucking West Coast NSW with fucking kidney stones. And they fucking came back. There, there was a whole thing about you were no longer used, allowed to use creatine in the teams. That went for fucking, I don't know, half a year or so. It was fucking, it was wild. Dudes just falling out over it. But nowadays, you know, the math and the science is a little bit better. And um, these are the products we use. And that's just what I wanted to show you. You guys are always asking. I thought I'd show you up close and show you specifically which ones we use on a daily basis. There's a lot of other shit here, man. I've got fucking 18 gallon totes, Rubbermaid totes, full of shit we've bought that we've just ceased using. Like it's just sitting there unused. So again, this is John Willis. This is Colin Walls, Special Operations Equipment. SOETacticalGear.com is the website. And these are the products we use, you know, for, for the gym.